Hello my soccer universe, let's review the Europa League quarterfinals, the first legs and before we get into yeah, we have Europa League, no teams double, now it's more looking like it, I know, Slavia and Dinamo probably should be in there but they also not so easy to come by but now we are in Granada edit and now we have it all nicely done. Of course, um, there are quite some eliminated teams here, everything here, then we have Spurs and Milan unfortunately also eliminated or already but the rest exactly how it should be. Also, as a quick uh, side note, yeah, there was a programming error in my last chances, so I fixed it now and now you get the real chances and everything's fine there. What an evening it was yesterday, especially in Amsterdam. That was an exciting game that I was actually, I mean, I was watching the goal zone, flipping back and forth between the games. But I have to say, the most exciting game that I I was really annoyed with when they uh, when, by the way was Ajax Roma. And I said it before, it would have been my favorite uh, final. It's now in the quarterfinals. The game was back and forth. Um, probably should have ended in a draw. Roma got the win. I decided that whoever wins that game, I'll wear their jersey. Otherwise, it will be one of the teams that I have uh, double, which would have been United or Ar Arsenal, probably. Uh, I could have said if they would have been a draw, I probably would have been wearing United at the moment. But Roma, it is. And it's, of course, the away jersey, because they played weirdly uh, in a jersey matchup, which I didn't quite get, but we'll come to that. Uh, in the other games, uh, very briefly, because we go a little bit more detail in it, Arsenal Slavia was like a festival of missing chances in many ways. Um, I thought from what I could, could get, especially second half, Slavia was very well in, in the game with also being more dangerous. Uh, the least impressive game was probably Dinamo Zagreb's Villarreal because it really turned on uh, the goal uh, that was scored and then Villarreal saw it out and Granada United similarly, I mean Granada tried but United just got the job done. So you already see sense where this is going in the review, we'll talk a lot about Ajax Roma. That was an amazing game. Right from the get-go uh, it was kind of back and forth. Uh, both teams are known to play open, fluent, fluent soccer at the, uh, at the moment with maybe a little bit more defensive solidity on the Roma side and more attacking prowess on the Ajax side, which both were in a way on display. I was a little bit disappointed by the jersey matchup. I really would have expected Ajax. No, I mean, I love the black uh, Ajax jersey and I love the uh, cream color like this one, the Roma jerseys. I have to, have to say, as a mat jersey matchup, they don't look all that great. And I really was actually more that Ajax should play in their white jerseys than the Roma could actually play in the black away jerseys, which I hate. So, I mean, I, I, I don't know, but I think. Uh, I had to adjust myself for uh, a few minutes to say, okay, Ajax is actually playing in black at home and not in white. That I think messed with me and that's why I, I, would, I, I would have preferred the um, lesser jerseys per se, but as a matchup, I think it would have worked better this way. That's how I, I think. As I say, it was a back and forth. Um, and in the, in the end, it was in the first half a uh, defensive Error where I think Man Mancini doesn't meet a uh, back pass in defense and David Klaassen intercepts the pass. And the way they then finished this was so ayak. He plays it out to Tadic, who immediately returns it back to Klaassen, but uh, in such a nice move that completely upset the Roma um, defensive structure. 1 0 Ajax. And at that point, you thought, oh, Roma's getting eaten, eaten alive because now Ajax really turned it on and really put Roma on the back foot, having uh, creating chances, being more dom dominant in, in possession. And I said it uh, before, I think that Ajax is probably the second best team in this conquer conquer competition. Uh, a little bit they showed. However, the game turned on a penalty that they had was awarded in the 52nd minute. Tadic steps up and puts the penalty high in the center and Paul Lopez, who had a few good saves before, uh, saved that one too. Uh, Paul Lopez was hit, hit and missed too, to be honest, because uh, he also had some uh, blunders, but then saw yeah, the Ajax goal, 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 the next thing seen. We had a free kick at the edge of the box that uh, Pellegrini takes, 
and he doesn't put it in the corner. Maybe that messed with, with the goal. He was the backup to the backup. Um, because Tecklenburg is uh, injured and Onana, of course, is out because of uh, drug testing, which seems so weird to me that, uh, I mean, I don't know too too much, to but he's really out for a year. That seemed harsh, to be honest, uh, but you know, let's not get uh, in that uh, discussion. But yeah, uh, the goalie who had actually a pretty good, good save in the first half, he just misjudged the ball and Pellegrini, it went on his uh, side here and then into the internet. And that is really where the game turned because of, of, from that point on, you could feel how Ajax was deflated. They tried, but they really, uh, they had a hard, hard time breaking down the Roma defense who were very happy with, with that 1-1. Yes, Probe came on. He was uh, alone in front of Paul Lopez. Probably should, should, should have put it in. I think if they would have had a better striker up, up there, it could have helped them a whole lot, like Sebastian Alea. Yeah, you could put him on the team sheet. That is, for me, the one one, one, one thing. I think Ajax is really shooting themselves in the foot in the, in the competition. If you had Sebastian Alea in, in there, you actually have all the punch that you need up front. And then I think Ajax would be even more dangerous there. So yeah, few chances missed by Ajax, but uh, overall I thought that Roma got a good grip on, on the game and then they get the winner late with what a wonderful shot by Ibanez dad was. I mean, uh, corner, he is too free in the box, but he takes it down with his chest and volleys it under the crossbar. A uh, great, wonderful goal, befitting that, that game, putting the advantage to Roma. However, I do not trust this Roma team and I, it's a little bit like uh, Bayern against PSG. I actually think that Ajax could turn this around, but it will be a very, very tough task. Uh, as I said, those are the two teams that I really care about in this competition. And I was actually surprised how I was actually ending up rooting for Ajax more than Roma. And yeah, I jinxed Ajax. I told uh, uh, work a colleague call, call of work on Wednesday. Uh, he is an Ajax fan from Amsterdam, and I, I told him that I actually rate Ajax quite highly. Yeah, I jinxed him. I, I, I jinxed him there. I think another interesting game was Arsenal against Slavia, although for the longest time this was the one game that didn't produce chances. I think the first half put the, uh, the coat of silence over. Uh, I have to say, I really like the Slavia Prague jerseys. Uh, there's something about, I mean, they, they make this half and half look similar to what Ajax did with their black jerseys. But then there's a pattern in there. I have, I have not really identified the pattern, but this really looks really good, I, ha I have to say. Better than the home jersey, I think there were previous Puma jerseys that looked better for Slavia. In any case, um, it was a relatively open game where Arsenal had the better chances, but I think that Slavia was dangerous all the way uh, and could have well taken the lead. I mean, yes, Arsenal hit the woodwork twice. First, the William free kick that went on the outside of the, of the post, and then, um, like I said, needs to score when he steals the ball on the, on the center line, runs clear on goal, and then he wants to make, make it pretty and put it in the top corner and hits exactly the angle of the woodwork. Um, I think a 30th finish would have done him quite well. But um, it was such a back and forth, forth where I really thought of Slavia, there were, there, there were one of one two chances where they actually have to score themselves as well and put it wide. Um, at the end of the match, then Arsenal took over. There were chances by Obama Young, uh, who, then, who also sets up then Pepe for actually the goal in the 86th. Uh, but no. That was not it because a uh, corner kick uh, laid on is deflected by an Ar Arsenal player onto Holish who puts it into the net. And I th personally think it was not undeserved that Slavia got that equalizer. And it's maybe the only away team that did not win yesterday. However, you would think that Slavia, by the look of it, has had an advantage. Yes, Arsenal is the better team, but Slavia, that one won, they will take. Dinamo Zagreb's Villarreal also hit the Wood Woodwork a few times. I, I, at one point, I think there were more uh, shots on the post or the crossbar uh, than there were goals. Um, uh, Zagreb had their chances and definitely uh, could, could have gotten something against the Villarreal side, who also proved clinically because it was a penalty by Gerard Moreno just before the halftime that settled the game. That 
goal seemingly unsettled uh, Dinamo too too much and in, in the end Villarreal probably could have pulled out a few more um, goals to win it a little bit uh, more decisively at least that's the feeling that I got um, which went so much against what was ha actually happening in the first half so uh, rather interesting there but it was not an exciting game and same almost same story uh, Granada gave it their all gave, gave, gave it their best but United Proves to be clinically van, they need, need, need to be. The first goal by Rashford, what a great pass by Lindelof, and even better, how nicely did Rashford take this down and then convert it. First shot on goal, more, more or less. Um, Granada hit also once the post. Um, Soldado had uh, missed a sitter, in my overall opinion. But United really saw this out without breaking really, really a sweat. Uh, I think um, Bruno Fernandes uh, scored the goal, which, which was taken off for offside. And he had another big chance. Um, in, in, in the end, they get a penalty. And the goalie almost saves it, but it's a 2 0. To be honest, I think the 2 0 is a little bit too high, in my opinion. I think a 1 0 for United would have been more just more just about or maybe a 2 1 win for Granada. I think uh, a 2 1 win for United over Granada. I think that would have been uh, more like uh, United was not two goals better than, than Granada, who gave it their all, but it was not meant to be. And United get the win and are also very, very, very much in a driving seat for that one. So, um, Let's look at the chances of winning before we uh, and then at the three again. We have United now as the clear favorites. I mean, with the 2 0 away win, they are more or less through uh, to the ne ne next round, and also Villarreal is in second spot, also looking rather strong uh, due to holding the away goal advantage. Um, Roma also favored, uh, but not as much because, as I said, the teams are rather evenly matched, and Ajax is probably. It's not beyond them to take 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 down the Roma team. In fact, Ajax is rated higher than Roma, but Roma is in the, in the fourth spot. Uh, Ar Arsenal, while being the fourth favorites to reach the semi-final, uh, due to the higher rating, uh, they will more they have they have an easier route to the final, and it's also due to the draw. So yeah, um, I think it's still. United via Real is probably the most likely final at the moment. Let's put it that way with Arsenal having outside such a chance that will be evenly matched, I think, if if they would meet. And it's a semi final I wanna see. Um I think the winner of Roma Ajax will be big outsiders against United, but I think both could hurt United. So um as we will see as we see here already in the three. Uh, so this is how it says as it sets up. I think Villarreal Ars Ar Arsenal will be the first semifinal. Final, although Slavia not to be discounted, but I think Villarreal will go through against Dinamo Zagreb. Uh, United is more or less in the semi final than Ajax Roma. I think uh, United will be favored to go through there. And uh, going back to the, uh, pre the previous uh, page with the results, uh, we have now the returns all played on the uh, same day, same time. So, but we have Roma Ajax. Which again is, I think, the game to watch out for with Slavia against Arsenal being the second most interesting there. So yeah, this is what happened yesterday in the Europa League. Uh, maybe not such an epic game as uh, Bayern against PSG, but uh, Ajax Roma definitely lived up to the billing. Uh, and was uh, glad to see that. As I said, I was not entirely happily happy about the result, but I think overall was. Uh, or all right. Let me know what you thought about the games yesterday. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel uh, if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon to get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.